Hey everyone, it's Nelson Miller here with PA Creative. Today I have a fun tutorial for the Divi menu. This is something I've seen people ask and it's kind of something I was always curious about. So when you hover over the Divi menu when there's drop down items, then it appears when you hover. But I've seen people ask, well, how about if I want to click the top menu item, then have the sub menu appear? And that's what this tutorial will show you. It's going to be a snippet of code that will do this. I'm kind of excited about this one. I think this is kind of one of those really fun ones that can really have a time and place for its use case. So let's take a look at this. So as you probably know, the default action for the Divi menu when you hover over a parent menu item is that the sub menu appears when you hover. Here you can see that I'm hovering over this default menu here at the top in the default header. And then here I have a menu module and of course it acts the same way. So hovering over the parent, you know, reveals the sub menu and it would, you know, keep going down there another layer. So what we want to do in this tutorial is actually change the way that it works at the core. And we're going to do this through JavaScript and we want to take away the hover and add the click effect. So basically what we're going to do by the end of this tutorial, you'll be able to come here and click and then this sub menu appears, okay? And it's going to work for both the menu module and this default header menu. So whichever one you're using, that's okay. We made it so that it would work for both. So let's get started. We have two snippets of code that you will need to add to your website to make this work. So first one is the jQuery and then the second is the CSS, which is a complementary code. So basically you couldn't have one without the other. The two of these are different types of code that work together. Now, as far as adding it in, you can add it into your child theme or into the Divi theme options, or you could even add it in a code module on that page. Now, most of the time you would have a menu that's across your entire site or on multiple pages. So using the code module is not a good option. Um, you could put it in the theme options and I'll probably show you that method. Um, or you could put it, like I said, in the child theme, it would be like in a scripts.js file or something like that. So let's go ahead and copy this snippet right here. Now I already have it wrapped inside script tags. And that is because anytime we would put this in the Divi theme options or code module, you would need that. Now, if you're putting this in a child theme in like a JS file, take out that the top and bottom, uh, the script tag, and then this closing script tag. But we're gonna keep it on because I'm gonna show you over here. I'm gonna go into the back end and then go to Divi theme options. So down here, Divi theme options, and then go to the integrations tab right here, integrations. And then if you had any other code, that's okay. But right here, add code to the head of your blog. Just go down below any other code that you have and paste it there and then click save changes. All right. So a little look at this code here, basically, um, we're, we're targeting obviously the navigation, um, that sub menu and we're adding the click function. Okay. And so anytime that it's clicked, then we're basically saying, um, well, we're saying to hide and show the sub menu. Um, and I'm not here to teach you how all that works, but I just want you to have that basic understanding. And then, um, what we need to do next is go over to the general tab here, right? In the theme options, go to the general tab and go down here to the custom CSS. And then, and again, you could put this, if you were, if you had a child theme, you could put this in your style.css file. Okay. So I'm going to go down here and grab this snippet in a while. So this tutorial really, it's really just about copying the snippets. Um, that's, that's just how this one is working. Um, a lot of people ask for this. They ask how to do this. So I wanted to provide this. So obviously paste that in there and save the changes. So now we have both sets of code into our website. Okay. So remember back here on our demo, you can see that I'm clearly just hovering. Okay. You can see the little effect and everything. All right. Now I'm going to refresh my page so that the code can take effect. 
All right, so here we go. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hover. Okay, nothing. I'm gonna hover down here. Okay, nothing. Now I'm going to click. Open, and I can move my mouse. See how before I had to have my mouse hovered over there? See how I can move my mouse over here, do whatever I want. I can go down here and I can even open the second one down here. So if I click here, then that's open. See how it stays open? I can move my mouse. I can click to close that. And of course, click to close that. Now, if you wanted your user, you know, if you're expecting them to click, then they wouldn't have to close to click. But either way, they would have to close to click. Now, like I said, this would work for the default menu or the menu module. So if I go up here, click, there you go. So this can be really helpful. I know there's definitely use cases. I've actually seen some sites offhand. I forget which ones they are, like some pretty popular sites that have the click effect. And I've definitely seen people asking me this and seen people asking in Facebook groups and I've never seen an answer. Now, obviously here, the menu item, like this one here, this parent menu item, obviously that is no longer um, useful, if that makes sense. Like, in other words, I can't, I can't um, be expected to click on that and go to that page because now we're using it to open the sub menu. So keep that in mind. I mean, that's just how it works. There's no way around that. Um, you know, when we had it hover, you could technically click on this parent item, but when it's the click trigger, then that, think of it as that menu item's just there um, as like a label for your sub menu. Okay. All right, so that's really all there is to it. So just you know, enjoy the code, enjoy the the free, basically the free code, um, and you know, share this around. If you see this come up in the Facebook groups, I do have a link here to the Divi menu tutorial series. And the reason I have that is because people may not know how many tutorials we have about the Divi menu. And I think this category is called the Divi menu module, but um, it's really the just think of it as the menu. Um, just so many tutorials, so many tutorials. Look at that. I have, I have two more pages um, of tutorials and I think there's 12 on each page. Isn't that incredible? Um, they just keep adding up and I, I actually have some more. So if you, if you have other menu related tutorials, let me know or any other type of tutorial. I hope you guys really do enjoy this. Uh, like I said, it's something people ask and it's actually something that I've wanted to sit down and figure out here for quite a while. And it was tricky. It really was tricky, um, especially making it so that it would work for both there. I wanted to do that um, for you guys. So yeah, enjoy that. I would love to, you know, see what you come up with as far as combining, you know, some of our, our sub menu tutorial, you know, some of the other tutorials that we have, combine them all together. And I'd love to see some of those examples sometime. All right, so there you go. That's how you make the drop down open when you click on it instead of just when you hover. So I hope that you've enjoyed that. We have lots and lots and lots of menu tutorials here. I think we probably have getting close to 30 Divi menu tutorials. That's a lot. Um, that's more than any other, obviously any other place, probably even more than Elegant Themes um, blog. So I hope you guys enjoy them. Let me know what you want to see next in our blog series, and I'll be happy to consider that and put that out here. All right, well, we'll see you guys in the next video.